In this video, we're going to make a regular slope map and then something called a slope shade. So we go back to our friend here, the Arc Toolbox, and um, back to Spatial Analyst Tools and the Surface uh, Sub Toolbox. And down here, there's a, a, a little tool called Slope. So let's double click on it. So the input raster, let's take our uh, now this one we've changed the name of it uh, just in our table of contents it's called the bare earth elevation and again you could find uh, you could run this operation on files that aren't loaded and uh, Eric wants to put this in a default location but we don't want it to do that we're going to put it in our standard DEMs folder and we're going to call this FG Sanborn well, we better call S F F G S S born, and then use S L P for the name of the file because we have to keep it short under 13 characters. We'll have the output measurement is going to be in degrees, and let's run it. Okay, so there we have our nice output. Notice it automatically puts uh, the output into the explanation. We'll that can be changed later, but you see the nice default coloring of red meaning steep slopes and green is gentle. And this is a pretty good view. We can um, you know, zoom around and have a look at different parts of it. But uh, one of the more effective uh, things to do is co create something called a a slope shade and in this one it's it, it's basically uh, kind of like a hill shade except the illumination is really from straight up above and we would have steep slopes are dark while low slopes are light so we use the same slope map that we've computed uh, and then we'll go right click on it in um, the table of contents and then click on properties and here the uh, you can see that the it automatically put this classified uh, operation and uses the green to red now let's switch this to stretched let's invert and let's use five standard deviations okay so we're gonna go from basically steep slopes are dark low slopes are white and this um, n equals 5 is, is just a way to kind of control the stretch which seems to give a little bit better result but this is something that one could play around with and so there you go so now we've got this special image that is called the slope shade and you can see in here it uh, has the advantage of not having a preferential illumination direction except for straight up and so we can see many interesting features with the same view. And this is a standard data product, for example, that is delivered from Open Topography in its Google Earth files.